Okay, so last time I showed you some of my favorite DaVinci Resolve Studio features, some of which I use on a weekly or even a daily basis. But today we're gonna dig a little bit deeper. I'm gonna show you some Neural Engine features, only available in DaVinci Resolve Studio. Now, what is Neural Engine? Well, honestly, I have no idea. I mean, I know it has something to do with AI and machine learning and neural networks, but when I look up those things on Wikipedia, all I get is horrible flashbacks to 20 years ago when I was still studying computer technology. So no thank you. And look, you and me, we're creative people, right? Videographers, content creators. So for us, only this little sentence from Blackmagic Design's website is important. The DaVinci Neural Engine provides simple tools to solve complex, repetitive, and time-consuming problems. Now that's something I do understand, and need also. And so, you know, let's let the good people at Blackmagic Design deal with the technical stuff, yeah? Okay, here we go. This is the perfect example of a simple tool to do an annoying and time-consuming task. So let's say you shot a ton of footage, a million clips, a wedding maybe, and you want to organize your clips. Well, face recognition will automatically group your clips depending on who's in it. The bride, the groom, grandma, grandma's dog. I mean, wait, no. I don't know if it also recognizes animal faces. Does it? Let's give it a try. So I have a bunch of footage in my media pool, including grandma's dog. Here he is, she, I don't know. And all I have to do is select all the clips, right click, and then here, analyze clips for people. Yeah, it doesn't say faces, it says people, so grandma's dog, I don't know. Anyway, once Resolve has done its thing, you can see that all the clips are grouped depending on who's in it. It recognizes different people. And of course, we can name the groups or people. This, for example, let's say it's dad, and this is the bride and the groom. And there we go. These are all clips with the groom in it, for example. It didn't recognize grandma's dog though. Slightly disappointing. So Blackmagic Design, maybe for the next update, you know? Anyway, next step, close the window. And well, now it looks like nothing happened, but something did happen. Resolve has saved all that information in the metadata of each clip. And we can now use that data to create smart bins. So go to preferences here, then editing and check this one automatic smart bins for people metadata. And boom, now here in smart bins, we have a folder for each person. This feature will 100% save you a lot of time, except if you only film dog shows. So in my previous DaVinci Resolve Studio video, I showed you the patch replacer tool, a simple way to remove objects from the frame, things you don't want in it. And object removal is a more advanced way to remove objects, because DaVinci Resolve will automatically try to remove whatever you want removed. Grandma's dog maybe, I don't know. And here's how it works. First you have to draw a window over whatever you want to remove, like this. Then track that window so that it follows the movement of the shot. So go to tracker, make sure it's set to window here, and then here point tracker, put the cross over whatever you want to track, and hit track. Now the window follows the movement of the shot, and also the outlet. Then add another node, look for object removal in effects, drop it on the node, connect blue with blue here, and then hit scene analysis, and after that build clean plate. And that's it. Now do keep in mind that it won't work with just any footage. Simple things, yeah, but if the background is more complicated, then Resolve will struggle. It's not magic, okay? Smart Reframe is a useful feature that I don't use a lot, but I think for some of you, it could be very useful. If you make horizontal videos, for example, and you also make vertical videos from those horizontal videos, which can be a problem sometimes if your subject doesn't stay in the center of the frame. You see what I mean? And so Smart Reframe solves that problem. And it's the simplest thing in the world. This is my horizontal video turned into a vertical video. And as you can see, I'm going in and out the frame. You could of course keyframe all this manually or just go to the inspector, Smart Reframe, hit Reframe and Resolve will do it automatically for you. This makes making videos for TikTok even more low effort, like lowest effort ever. It's basically negative effort. Yeah, it gives you back energy. Wow. Anyway, you know what gives me energy, by the way? 
music. And I get my music from Audio, the sponsor of this video. I use Audio for all my videos. All the music in this video, for example, Audio. But also my travel videos, vlogs, and even client work. Everything. And I've already shown you how easy it is to find the perfect song by using the filters. And by the way, Beats Per Minute is a very underrated filter. But lately, I've also been using the playlists feature because it's a great way to find some fresh new music. And they even have sound effects if that's what you're looking for. So yeah, if you like the music in my videos, you should definitely check them out. And right now, a lifetime music subscription is $300 off. Just use my code and link in the description. Easy peasy. And of course, thank you so much, Audio, for supporting my channel. Okay, and now back to Resolve. Voice isolation is again one of those super useful one click of a button features. Maybe you've recorded some footage near a highway or an air conditioning that's humming and you want to remove that hum or that highway noise. Well, in the inspector window, go to audio up here and then voice isolation. Set the amount and well, that's basically it. Here's an example of what it can do at 100%. Laja Sosua looks great. The shades of blue are, whoa. I almost died. Laja Sosua looks great. The shades of blue are, whoa, I almost died. Now, of course, this is a very extreme example. I would never set it at 100% here because, you know, I don't want to get rid of the sound of the waves entirely. So it's just to show you how powerful it really is. An air conditioning hum, some highway noise will disappear like magic. Oh, look, resolve is magic after all. Here's another example of a simple tool to do an annoying and time-consuming task. Man, I'm so glad that AI and neural hydrogen electric machine learning networks exist. This is why. Let's say you have a finished video that consists of different scenes, but it's one long clip and you want to use some of the scenes for another video. You can start cutting all the scenes into clips manually, or you can go to timeline up here, hit detect scene cuts, and boom, you're done. Another 10 minutes saved. This is a cool one, the depth map. Depth map, not death map. Death map, depth map. Yeah, depth map. And what it does is, well, let me just show you. So this is what a depth map looks like. It basically isolates the subject in a way. So in this case, the white areas are close to the camera and the darker areas are further away. And so yeah, Resolve can detect what objects are closer and further away. And similar to masking in Photoshop, for example, the darker areas will be less affected by the effect you apply or the color grade. Here's an example. So let's go to effects, depth map, not depth map, drop it on a node. Okay, and so now let's adjust the settings to create the depth map in a way that the girl is the main subject. And I want her to be untouched by whatever effect or color grade I'm gonna apply. So I have to invert it. You can of course soften the edges and everything, but we don't have time for that now. Then uncheck the depth map preview, add another node, connect blue with blue here, and then for example, let's drop a blur effect. And now I can basically make the background and the foreground more blurry. But the foreground, in this case, doesn't get affected as much as the background. It all depends on how far each object is from the lens. It's basically a different way, a different approach to creating a mask. It's pretty cool. Okay, and then finally, face refinement. And it's all in the name. You use it to refine faces, to enhance faces, touch up skin or sharpen eyes, brighten up eyes. Basically, make someone look better prettier, more handsome. Now, I know that most creators, when they show this feature, they use some stock footage with a model, you know, to show how the feature works. But I don't know, I would feel like I'm saying that the model in the stock footage doesn't look good or is not handsome enough or whatever, you know, because I'm using them to show this feature. Know what I mean? And I'm a good guy, I don't want to hurt anyone. So yeah, that's why I'm gonna use my own face to show this feature. So let's see what we can improve to this 40 year old face. Should be interesting. So in effects, look for face refinement, drop it on the node and then hit analyze. And see, it automatically detects the face. And so that means that you can now very easily enhance different parts of the face without having to create masks and then track those masks. Everything is here. You can sharpen the eyes, for example, brighten them up. You can even remove eye bags. 
retouch the forehead, cheeks, chin. And look, I'm no expert in face retouching, but this makes it so easy. I mean, even a child could do it, make someone look pretty, right? <laughs> no, less is more, guys. Always remember, less is more. Wow, what was that? Anyway, uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And like I've said before, we're basically running this channel together, right? I wouldn't be here without you watching my videos. So you're basically doing part of the work. It's like the perfect symbiosis going on here. It's like what the world should be like, what every society should be like. Except I'm the only one getting paid for it. Wait, that's not a perfect symbiosis. It sounds more like North Korea. Is my channel the North Korea of YouTube? Why am I talking about North Korea all of a sudden? I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Salut and todo volume. It's way too hot in my studio.